guys what's going on we're back with another uh, dyno overview video here so today we're going to be taking a look at a H22A blacktop non euro motor so compression on this one was about nine and a half to one from the factory and uh, so we were able to get a baseline in red here and so for our baseline test it was the H22A motor uh, plated H to B kit with the ITR 47 tranny, a high end H to B header, uh, I think it was a 3 inch exhaust, and then 440cc injectors on 91 with just an intake tube. So, you know, relatively stock motor, had a header and exhaust, and an intake tube. And then our second test, which is going to be in the blue line here, we did some port work, our stage 2 ported machine package on the P13 head, fitted our CNC manifold with the 2 inch spacer and a 74 millimeter throttle body, a set of Rocket M21 cams and Rocket spring kit, as well as some SuperTech valves. So, let's get into the data points here. So, right here you can see where our uh, newly fitted top end just really starts to take off and we're up about let's see that's about 15 horsepower here at the first data point and unfortunately on this dyno there was no torque pickup so we have just the horsepower numbers to look at today then at this next data point a little bit higher up in the RPM we're actually up about 21 horsepower and our third one here kinda towards the top of it we're at about 204 horsepower on the newly fitted top end and 180 on the baseline so that's about a 24 horsepower gain so we'll scroll back here to look at the whole graph so our best run on the baseline with the couple boltons was 182.6 horsepower and our max power with the newly fitted top end is uh, 205 horsepower and so let's take a look here so on the OEM stuff you can kind of see that it's restricted, it really wants to breathe and right when you start getting into the RPMs here it just goes up, drops down, levels off kind of makes a swoop there and then slowly climbs back in and that's what you get. Whereas with, you know, we got the top end breathing a lot better, some better cams, better intake manifold, some port work on the head you can see it kind of takes this same angle here and just carries it all the way up top. And right here you can see, whereas before we are, you know, we're curving up into it, whereas now it's bubbling up into it. And so, you know, the way the numbers work out, we picked up around 10% horsepower in the mid-range here, and it was about 15 to 20 horsepower there, and up at the top it was about 24 horsepower, I think. Yeah, about 24 horsepower peak. So this car, it was dynoed on a Dynojet roller with the WinPEP 8 software. You can see here everyone's I'm sure is a dyno tuning master and they're going to comment that it's jagged whatever you want to say there. The smoothing is set to zero and our correction factor is STD. So now 
I'm sure these same tuning masters are going to say that these are low numbers or they've seen better or their stock motor makes a lot more but unfortunately if you dyno the car on, say, on 10 different dynos you know you're going to have 10 different results so that's why we do our baseline here and then our after results and uh, we use the dyno as it should be used as just a tuning tool to measure the changes we've made so although you know it doesn't look drastic as far as the numbers are concerned or I'm sure their stock motor that their friend tuned makes 260 horsepower with just a header but not on this dyno so you know the stock motor made 182 horsepower able to pick up about 10 to 11 percent here in the mid-range and at peak we're able to pick up almost 14 percent gains so now it doesn't really matter uh, what you're doing here but 14 percent peak power gain you are definitely gonna feel that on the butt dyno and as well as on the track so if you have any questions or comments you feel free to send us a message to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash bad guys worldwide or if you wanna hop up your H series and need some speed equipment you can check out our store at badguysonline.com or if you wanna see what we're working on you can go ahead and send us a message to our Instagram page or just look at your feed at bad guys underscore worldwide.